Hi, welcome back. In this session, we will see an easy way of executing test with Jenkins in our local system where we usually develop our code. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. Okay, now Jenkins server is up and running. Jenkins is fully up and running. You can see it in the console in here. And then let's come back to the browser and go to the URL 127.0.0.1, which is the local host, and then the port 8080. And you will get the Jenkins uh, home screen. And let's do a refresh and log in with the username and password which was configured when you have installed Jenkins. So once we log in to Jenkins, we come to the Jenkins home page and you see all the jobs that are created in this Jenkins server in my machine. Actually, this is running in my machine. And we go to manage Jenkins and then to manage plugins. From here, you can install the plugin called Shining Panda. That's a nice name, by the way. So Shining Panda is a plugin for Jenkins which will help us execute our Python code. So after the plugin has been installed in your in our Jenkins, you go to the new item to create a new job and type a name for your Jenkins job. Py Python unit test job and select freestyle and click OK. And then it will give us the options for our job creation source code management since we are running it in our local machine we will just select none here you can uh, do a git or a subversion if you know, we are trying to pull it from github or bitbucket or any other git servers and then we'll come down and go to build option and in the build option you should see the shining pandas option so there are three options for which will show up here one is the custom python builder and then there is a python builder and third one is virtual in env builder so these are all coming from that plugin so uh, let me choose the custom python builder and here we need to provide the if you see the documentation path of the home folder for the custom python installation so we need to provide the path where the our python is installed so for our project demo unit test path is c python demo unit test and inside that there is a folder for virtual environment so if we go to the windows explorer you see that this is our path and then our python is virtual env here so i need to provide this whole path in there till v v e n v paste it here and then we'll select shell we are trying to execute the pytest command here so we will execute our test using pytest which will give us junit like uh, xml for reporting so we'll be using the shell here and then the command is by test minus j unit xml so we are doing a j unit xml because we want we want some report in xml for our jenkins job so that you can see it in the ui i'll show that in a minute so we are trying to generate the xml report so i'll just name this as test results dot xml and then we have to provide the full path of our test folder so in our case it is my test is the path where all our tests are there so i just copy this path and just paste it here so by test junit xml we need the xml to report all the results in a proper format in jenkins and then the path of my test and then in the post build action we will do a junit report so publish junit test result report and then we will actually name the test result dot xml file in here so just name it as test star dot xml and i'll do a save in here so now that we have created the job let's run this build now and let us run our test so clicking on build now should see the job being executed in here so once the job starts to execute you can actually go down the console output and see what actually it's doing in the background so yeah it ran all my tests this is my this is my command and these are my tests in here so it ran all the tests and then there's a success in here so I come back to the project and you should see the test latest test results in here it will show us all my tests in here in a proper html format all my 
five tests inside this folder and then there are a couple of tests inside this test smoking test if you want you can go drill down and see so that's all in this video session i hope it was helpful to you all thank you